Hey guys, in this video I will share some of the most important tips I have learned while playing mage in solo queue. I am planning to make one for each role, so hopefully that will help you win a lot more, regardless of the role you are playing. In this one I am going to play Eve, which is definitely a top tier mage in the current meta, but it doesn't matter how strong or weak a hero can be if the user doesn't really know the hero well. By the way, our composition is a bit sus, two roamers and no marksmen, but to be honest, I was not worried at all since we got one of the most unstoppable duos in the game, Leomar plus Angela. Also I am playing one of the best mages as well. As a mage, it's always recommended to help your jungler take the buff at the start of the game. You can help until around the 29 seconds mark and then you should go back to your lane so you don't miss any golden experience from the minion wave. I see. First blood. I do not see the Learn and understand who has the upper hand in the mage matchup during the laning phase. In this case, Eve should definitely be able to outpoke Kagura without much problem. Just gotta make sure to dodge her umbrella. Always pay attention to the map so you will have a better idea which lane has the most potential to get things done. Keep roaming around and ganking the other lanes to give your teammates a bigger advantage. Sometimes all they need is a little bit of help to win their lane. I know Kagura's mechanics very well, so once I saw that she used her dash purify skill, this was the ultimate green light to fully commit. Understanding how each hero works will serve you very well. Learn the strengths and weaknesses of each hero so you will be able to make better in game decisions. There are different types of mages, the burst type, which can pretty much one shot most of the squishy heroes, such as Eudora, Aurora, Veil, Kagura, Kadita, etc. For this type, you usually want to build items that increase maximum magic power, such as Clock of Destiny, Holy Crystal, and Divine Glaive. There are utility types, such as Eve, chang -O, Valentina, Valir, Lily and Faramis, they cannot really one-shot the opponents, but what they excel at is annoying the opponents frequently with their pokes and most importantly from a safe distance. Also, as their name suggests, their skill sets provide lots of utility during the team fights. Usually for this type, you want to build items that can reduce their cooldown by a lot and also slow down their movements, such as Enchanted Talisman, Ice Queen Wand and Glowing Wand. In some instances, you might also want to build one defensive item as well.
I just need to constantly keep poking them until they are low enough and once their HP is low enough I will go for the kill. I didn't think I would have enough time to take the buff before they got here, so I decided to set an ambush instead. This white Eve is one of the most annoying mages in the current meta. She can just keep poking your hole and retreat if needed without much repercussion. I saw that she used her purified skill already. If I can keep lowering her HP, I will commit the ult and go for the kill. Almost fell victim to the jungle monster. That's probably one of the most embarrassing ways to die. Just by looking at the map, I could tell that Esmeralda is charging her ult and is aiming at me. Just gonna keep the ult like this to zone them out, so my allies can take down the base turret with ease. Even though I'm alone, I'm not too worried because I know they cannot catch me. I'm going to show you the true power if I will solo take all of them down, even if it's one before. Actually, I wanted to show you that sometimes you gotta make those calculated sacrifices so your allies can finish them off and end the game. Yep. Okay, maybe not, but that's good for me because I didn't want the game to end while I'm still dead. Are they making a comeback?
it's important to understand that each role has different priorities and playstyle. In this case, a man should try to rotate and gank as much as possible so your other lanes can have bigger advantage. Also, with experience you will learn the limits of each hero, so you will know when to retreat and when to keep pushing forward. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. See ya!